Arduino kit. Very small, but very capable. Um, so we're going to unbox it here. So this is, you know, it's showing from scratch. You get this thing from Amazon or wherever. This one came from Amazon. Between a, a servo and a motor. Motor goes all the way around. Servos only go... They have defined movements. Only go like this a little. Like to open a door or a garage door. We'll go and go with defined... The motor will just turn forever until it stops. It's the hello world. This is just a... LED order you can type on. It's a display. So this would be kind of like a computer, but more a microprocessor. This is where you put the breadboard and the mm -hmm. microprocessor. So we'll screw those on. We'll set up. Good. These are LEDs, batteries, and pretty much everything electronic. Why is the package a little bit silverish? So that it doesn't get interfered with a EMP. Uh, electrostatic charge, which is a little bit smaller than an EMP. Also, don't walk across the carpet when this is in your hand with socks on. In the winter time, and this is the starter guide, uh, which we have. Um, we have one of the preliminary uh, versions of this. Now it's uh, much more advanced. So you already know it's packaged. Yeah, and it's good. Good idea to hold it by that component, and to avoid touching uh, any of the integrated circuits. Uh, because of an electrostatic charge. These are like three to five volts. Stepping down from nine volts, you'll see a nine volt in there. Breadboard. No. So the breadboard has little metal poles that, um, as you can see here, go from one side to the other and also go down. So these are all connected, and these are all connected all the way across. So, so when example, you put electricity into that, it goes the entire length. So for example, if I don't know which one's plus. Is this one plus? Negative is the shorter one. So uh, you put in... No, you wouldn't do that. How they did it here. So what they did here is in this configuration. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll keep the same configuration they do with that uh, power supply going in that direction. That'll be good. A little fuse, and I think, um, yeah, I think it lights up if there's a circuit. Okay, so you attach that. Orientation as to what they have, and it'll just make sense when you go to do things. So the same orientation, yeah. And when you put that down, you only get one shot at it, so try to make it as clear as possible. Do it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> There it is. There's your. Uh, so yeah, the red to that one and the ground to that exactly. And there's another. So there's three diagrams for each one. There's the layout view in 3D, which I like, uh, but this one shows the circuit that you're going to be building with the resistor and the LED and the mm -hmm. and the pin to the Arduino. Then this one shows it in a oh, more. I like this one. Yeah, it's more of a plan profile or. And that was made with fritzing. Yeah, and this will help with fritzing as well. No, this will. Up to the switch, which the Arduino is going to be told when to turn it on and off. And it'll be using a timer, probably a triple five timer chip in here somewhere. Which. How much putting it at an angle? The four. Yeah. Yeah, and the numbers aren't the numbers here aren't critical, but. If you do them the same, then you know you're doing it the exact same. So uh, why not do it just to show? And if you're big, the small one is minus, and the bigger one is plus. So when it says minus here, then you want to put in the same row. I think uh, is the resistor vertical, or we like in line to the resistor, and the other one in line of the green or. The green is going to take out, uh, is coming out from the Arduino to then alternate. It's it's going to give it the blinking uh, communication. So, uh, And this is circuit one, and it has a lot of extra words in it, but the code is actually down here, right there. And so this was hooked up. And so what's going on here? This is blinking over here, unrelated to potentiometer. That's in the, the next experiment. And so that's blinking because it's programmed into here. Uh, for circuit one. So that worked. Go ahead and show. What, so there, that number 12. So we sent it to a different pin just to show uh, that that works as well. So, so I just change. speed it up 
by making it 50, and that made it pretty darn fast. Okay, good. So if I add a couple more zeros in there. <laughs> so you see it's adding it to the it's Then uh, upload it, then watch this. So right now it's speeding about 50. Now it's going to go a uh, very five seconds slow. Mm, oh, exact. wait, I made it even slower. I put actually one more zero. It's five minutes, I'm not going to wait. You can go ahead and screw that on with one of the screws. Uh, and then uh, that'll... Uh, while I do that, you can explain the... Um... Yeah. So we're doing a single servo, example eight, circuit eight. So we got circuit eight uh, there, which was in the example. So it's, it's a little tricky to find those and put them there. It was in examples and then the USK guide code. Uh, and that's where they have their circuits, which we probably have these in another location. So as we screw that. So then this demonstration, uh, it moves it in various locations at several speeds, uh, just as a demonstration as to uh, what the code can do. And you can change uh, the timing. Is that what you're trying to do there? So mm -mm. You can change timing. You can, you can... Yeah, so then it's applying the voltage. Then I'll go through the sequence of tones. Wait, I know that song. Try it once again. So the white button resets it. I know that song. It's like... So we're only just using this part of the circuit here. Okay. Yeah, this isn't the contest, if we, if we... So there's eight numbers. So if you cut it down to like four, then... Well, that'll tell you. So you need to reset it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, button! Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, so you looped wait, it, it looped three times. <laughs> no, Bruno? Mama, Mama, now watch this. You so he just changed the tone. And he <laughs> changed the repeat. <laughs> Drei, ja. Wir haben, wir haben gebibbert und gebebbert, aber es ging. Ja, ich dachte auch schon, die sehen die ganzen Kabel.